How do you use ARMS to identify code level performance bottlenecks? The widespread adoption of microservices and containerization by more and more enterprises leads to an increase in system architecture complexity. How can an enterprise achieve real-time performance analysis and self-diagnosis for microservice applications, quickly pinpointing faulty and slow interfaces, reproducing invocation parameters, and discovering system bottlenecks to significantly improve online problem diagnosis efficiency? Let's delve into several typical application monitoring scenarios. Scenario 1. Microservices Architecture Application Performance Monitoring and Continuous Profiling It's well known that, after a microservices transformation, business structures become intricate, requiring complex trace analysis for troubleshooting online issues, which often takes considerable time. Under a large-scale microservices system, 100% trace collection could lead to unexpectedly high observability data storage costs and may even affect the performance of microservices applications during peak business hours. There is a trade-off between data accuracy and sampling rate. Moreover, while addressing trace-based default localization, it's necessary to track N plus 1 problems, such as memory OOM, high CPU utilization, spread pool saturation, etc. Scenario 2. Troubleshooting common failures with Trace Explorer. In a distributed system, a single request is fulfilled with multiple services. When times out, errors, or exceptions occur, it's challenging to understand the execution time and bottlenecks within the system, hence the need to locate the issue quickly. Here, Trace Explorer comes into play, showing the entire request path and the execution status of each service, enabling operation engineers to swiftly identify the problem area. To address these scenarios, ARMS can solve these issues. ARMS provides full stack tracing and code level real time performance monitoring for distributed and microservices applications. Combined with rich virtualization analysis and trace exploring functions, it empowers operation engineers to continually track application health, map service dependencies, reduce latency, eliminate faults, and ensure optimal user experiences. Before starting the analysis, you need to integrate the application monitoring probe, which ARMS offers one-click, widescreen integration for environments such as Elastic Compute Service ECS, Container Service for Kubernetes ACK, and Function Compute FC. For Scenario 1, Microservices Architecture Application Performance Monitoring and Continuous Profiling. 1. Log into the ARMS console, select Application Monitoring, then Application List from the left navigation bar. Choose the target region and application name to quickly view essential performance metrics, including number of application requests, number of areas, average duration, provided service ranking by requests, and provided service ranking by average duration, etc. In the application details, you can quickly query JVM thread pools, connection pools, host, container, SQL, and other related metrics. 2. Navigate to application settings, then definition configurations, then continuous profiling to turn on the switch. Next, from the left navigation bar, select continuous profiling, choose the target insurance and display time period to view the aggregated analysis. Continuous profiling effectively discovers Java program bottlenecks caused by CPU, memory, and I.O. issues and breaks down statistics by method name, class name, and line number. Ultimately, this assists developers in optimizing programs, reducing latency, increasing throughput, and saving costs. For Scenario 2, Troubleshooting Common Failures with Trace Explorer 1. Log in to the ARMS console, choose Application Monitoring, then Trace Explorer. First-time users need to create an ARMS permission to operate SLS so that data can be delivered to the SLS for secondary development. 
2. Configure the Trees Filter Conditions and the Trees Explorer page by status, latency, application name, interface name, house address, and time as needed. The page displays filtered trees query information, including bar charts of span count and HTTP areas, percentile latency timelines, and a span list. Trees Explorer can analyze spans at various dimensions, Although these analyses are performed on individual spans rather than at the trace depth. 3. Utilize the full link aggregation function to query specific trace ID based on this trace ID. It aggregates corresponding spans to derive the final results. To summarize the capabilities of ARM's application monitoring, 1. Covers different deployment environments such as Container Service for Kubernetes, ACK. Elastic Compute Service, ECS, Serverless App Engine, SAE, and Enterprise Distributed Application Service, EDAS, supporting automated injection with zero-code intrusion. It also supports automatic probe upgrades, meeting the needs of various observability environments and scenarios. 2. Offers a one-stop trace explorer with comprehensive, full-sample, and full-link trace explorer providing extensive reference data for fault localization. 3. Provides online CPU and memory diagnostics to effectively identify Java program bottlenecks due to CPU, memory, and I.O. issues, breaking down statistics by method name, class name, and line number to help users troubleshoot complex issues. 4. Delivers thread analysis capabilities and automatically saves local method stack information for slow cost scenarios, aiding users in identifying performance bottlenecks in local method stack execution. 5. Integrating with a powerful online program diagnosis to Arthas, leveraging byte code enhancement technology to inspect application details without restarting the process, such as method parameters, errors, and return values.